Welcome to Briggs Cabin Upper. Virtual tour. So this is the receiving area. It consists of a quite nice hot house, compact. In case your poop catches on fire, we can just put that out. Looks like it has a light up there too. A little bit of a shooting area in the target range. All fenced in. And we got a horseshoe pit over here. I haven't seen any horseshoes, but I bet they're here somewhere. I think we want some horseshoes. This is the, the horseshoe viewing area. Oh, there's the horseshoes. They'd be up here somewhere. Horses. This is the back side of the cabin. Again, this is Briggs Cabin Upper. And it is just a gorgeous day out here in March 2014. We continue with the tour here. Got a nice oh, got a mine cart. Not sure what that was used for. Um, probably the coolest thing to me about this cabin out here is beyond the drinking water, the well, um, they do really, really neat things with the overflow. Uh, up here they have a couple of these bird baths. Oh, Bolo looks interested. It's the guard moose. So this is what they do with their overflow. They just have nice little drip systems, and like I've noticed, if you look over there, um, there's orchids growing, sort of sporadically, and they're just gorgeous. Orchids, barrel cactuses, creosote, I'm not sure what this is. But, just really, really intensive gardening. But you can tell the people that come up here love this place. On top of the choya. Continuing down, this is a neat little area. Little sun deck. A birdhouse over there on the tree. Let's go over here and see what's happening. We use this area primarily for um, a shooting range. It's a beautiful, beautiful little perch. And you can see out, out that direction there are all sorts of targets to shoot at. Apparently, there used to be a mechanical clay pigeon flinger up here, but uh, the word I got is that it may have been absconded with. There's the canyon. There's another trail that goes up there that we're going to hit up tomorrow. Solar tiki torches. Regular tiki torches. <clears throat> Continuing down here, we got a nice the heavily shaded uh, sitting area. It's like a perfect place to play dominoes. Beautiful fire pit. Oh, there's the dinner bell. I'm getting hungry. I'm about ready to ring that. These are those orchid plants I was telling you about. Beautiful fire pit or barbecue. Thought we're going to use that tonight for some steaks. Nice little Weber grill. And they left us their country style baked beans. Big of them. Got a smoker. Another, I'm not sure what this guy is over here. It's interesting though. Maybe a stove? <laughs> a little bit of firewood. And it's all gated in. It's one of those orchids I told you about. And just everywhere you look, there's nice stuff. There's just you know, hardware, tools. Just whatever you need, pretty much. Put some charcoal here. 
step ladders, gardening stuff. Um, there is at least two fire extinguishers that I've seen. Um, somebody was generous enough to leave us with this big canister of propane. Water was hot when we got here. All sorts of tools. We'll be cutting up some wood later. But yeah, it'll be nice to clean up with uh, one of the, to leave. There's another fire extinguisher. Jeremiah's gonna take a bath here later. Cheers, Jeremiah. 2014, bitches! <laughs> so, there you go. You wanna take a bath? <laughs> There's the shower. Easy. <laughs> Got a hose. I've never been at a, a desert cabin with a hose before, so this is very new to me. Beer and all. I'm getting drunk tonight, so I'm gonna be using that thing a lot. And these are some of our gear. A table out on the front deck. You can probably hear the music playing. This is the armory. Photography, weed, light, medical kit, uh, water, Monopoly important things in life. Well, here's the interior of the cabin. And there we are. Sort of instructions here. It's remarkable to me how well kept this place is and how well stocked it is. You can tell the people that come up here um, really love it and cherish it. Book selection, a little anarchist library. I'm excited to look through that later. I don't know what this is. We passed it at 65, but could care less what happened in 1885. Huh. Okay, beans. Uh, it is way hotter than 60 degrees in here. I don't know. I, to, I question the veracity of that thermometer. Uh, here's the furnace, which we'll probably move our fire into um, as the evening goes on. And this is all. We haven't really brought anything outside of our sleeping gear. And it's uh, so well stocked. There's, there's a ton of firewood, there's charcoal. All sorts of interesting cigar wrappers. These guys have shit tasting cigars. <laughs> Romeo and Julia. Julieta all day long for me. Oh, there's a snake skin. Looks like a rattlesnake. Right Pacific rattlesnake. This is sleeping sleeping areas. There's a nice it's like a twin bed. Actually, this one's quite full. And yeah, so Lola's getting her own bed tonight. There is, looks like there's one, two, three, four, five beds on the interior of the cabin. There's a calendar, um, I think this is today, but don't quote me. The fire extinguisher. It's just the, the instructions for how to work all the systems. I'm sure it's in here. Oh my goodness. This is the first time seeing this. So this stocked pantry is pretty mind boggling. Last night we stayed at the lower cabin and we saw a couple of mice. And this pantry feels way more secure than anything that they have on that end of the world. Yeah, oh man. <laughs> I live up here for a month. Simple, simple blocking mechanism, nothing fancy. Uh, um, some pots and pans. Uh, I really like this. is the one that I'm planning on using. Cast iron. It's about 100 pounds. Oh, 
Getting another visit from the moose. From the guard moose. This is the range. Um, we had to open up these windows because it's, it's a little, little ripe in here. Well, what's going on? We got some stakes thawing out. There's a, a well that feeds this area. Um, that produces actually quite a bit of water, you can tell. The water pressure. It's really high. Got seasonings underneath there. Extra propane. We got these lamps. These are our gas lamps. Which are, hopefully we can get them going tonight. I'm not sure. We weren't able to get them going at the last place. And we also got electric lighting. It doesn't look too interesting, is it? And a little knife block over here. Soap. Sponges. Not the cleanest sponges, but what are you going to do? Um, I would open that propane powered uh, antique of a refrigerator, except for it's incredibly steamy. So we don't use that. Block ice all day long for us. You coming, Russ? Can't get in here without a fairly serious four-wheel drive vehicle. And that's the one we used. What year is your car, Jeremiah? 2007. 2007 FJ Cruiser with a nice line next coating. And yeah, you just take this little road. It takes you all the way about back to the mine over there and uh, to the lower cabin. Yeah, thanks for coming with me. Thank